whether you grow vegetables or uh, pastured cattle or sheep or anything, we are actually all growers of livestock and the livestock is in the soil. Hello, I'm Jim Tarek, the owner and operator of Los Osos Valley Organic Farm. My responsibilities are all linked to the farm that is um, qualified and certified as organic. Everything from uh, dropping seeds in the greenhouse uh, to irrigation, transplanting plants from the greenhouse out to the field, uh, harvest is a big uh, component. And uh, unfortunately, uh, weeding comes kind of after all those things. We're a certified organic grower of strawberries, uh, leafy green vegetables like spinach and, and, and uh, lettuce, uh, root crops, carrots, radishes, beets, onions. I do have some help that I hire, but uh, I, I do it all in, along with them. And I'm just going to go hook up to the machine, take it up, get the water going, uh, powders in the machine, start injecting, and it will be injecting for um, 30 minutes. When I was in, in high school, I knew I wanted to work outdoors. And I also knew that I wanted to work somewhere in biology. And so I got into agricultural banking. And uh, as I got older and I helped a few people start farming, uh, I saw that, you know, I, I think it's a, it, it's a good way to make a living. And that was at about the time I was making this transition to um, taking on the idea of, of being an organic farmer, uh, seeing the, the, the pesticide uh, issue and the lack of fertility in soils was, you know, it wasn't sustainable, we can't go on like this and there's a better way to do it. I was able to learn as I went along, there's no one way to do it, there's no one way to farm. It, it's predicated on first the farmer's personality and energy levels, their financial and natural resources, what their soil is like, what their water is like and availability, um, and your experience level too. So um, it's, it's an ongoing, uh, education. I've been doing it for almost 30 years now and it's uh, <laughs> it's pretty humbling. <laughs> Farming is kind of unique because it you've got to be a jack of all trades. Okay you got to be a let's start with a soil. You got to be a soil scientist. If you've got equipment you've got to be a mechanic. Should be I can get a little bit of a couple of easy pulls and then I'm bad. Um, you also, in the soil, you have to be have a little bit of chemistry knowledge. What I'm putting in is calcium and potassium. Potassium is to counteract the high sodium in the water, and the calcium is to counteract the high magnesium in the water. Um, you have to be a uh, botanist. So you have to know plants, and not just the plants that you're growing. You've got to know the, the weeds, too. Um, and what's, what's really uh, interesting is something I didn't realize until I started hiring people or having people work for me. You've got to be a psychologist, too. There's all kinds of things that, you, that they, they really are important. And they say farming is not a job, it's a way of life. And that's why it's a way of life, because it incorporates so many disciplines and pretty well consumes or... Um, occupies your life. Organic agriculture is important because we can't go on the way we are. Our, our techniques of growing with, with chemicals are burning up carbon in high carbon soil has really decreased over the last 50 years and um, uh, history shows us that when a, a culture's agriculture uh, fails, the culture collapses. We've got to keep 
sustaining our soils. And that comes from adding back more carbon than what we take out. This is uh, what they call a cover crop. I'm going to dig up some of this legume and I'll show you kind of the factory that is bring in nitrogen from the soil air and impart it into the plant to be released when the plant decays and it's, and it's worked into the ground. Farming in general, it, um, it, it satisfies a person's desire to have a little bit of impact on their, uh, on their destiny. It, it's, it's very satisfying it, it, to, do, to, to farm a crop with clean, natural methods and provide a superior nourishment and taste. The nourishment that you can taste. Those are all our, uh, the little rewards that come along. And I've always been the idea, and I've been doing this, like I said, for 30 years. I figure you take care of the soil, it'll take care of you. And um, I haven't been taken care of in all facets yet, but, um, but pretty well. I, I, uh, I would encourage anybody to try it if they, if they are so inclined.